following program is sponsored by PokerStars.net. This week on The Big Game. Aggressive pro Vanessa Selbst has carefully crafted a tight table image. You sick goes behind me, how can I? The needle meter was pretty high there. Yeah. I'm just lighting money on fire, but whatever. And used it to pull off a number of high stakes bluffs. 59.7. Nice hand. Thank you. And with the clock ticking down, the loose cannon shook off his nerves and began to fight for his dream. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared. What did you eat, man? Went back to the tattoo spinach. Ready to go. Now, the sharks are starting to circle as Jared has just one more night to book a profit. Jared, oh, Jared, I'm coming for you, brother. Will Jared be able to fend off the pros and claim a last minute win? Play money, this is fake money. It is until you get above 100. Then it becomes really Find out tonight on The Big Game. Let the games begin. Welcome back to the big game from Las Vegas, Nevada, alongside Joe Stapleton. I'm Scott Huff, and tonight, one lucky internet qualifier has his last chance to turn a profit against some of poker's best. The stakes are huge with almost a million dollars on the table. Spirit Rock, he's been running hot, firing barrels, taking shots, cause it's Prof Friedman, a rapper who is vegan, up over 60K, making hands, giving speeches. Antonio Esfandiari is the table magician and captain. He's been driving the action all week and it's been working. He's up 22K. There's your boy, Barry Greenstein. He lost nearly half his stack early on and has yet to recover. I think he's waiting for the bubble, stuck over 50 dimes. Nick Cassavetti's just pulled out of directing the John Gotti biopic, but most of his bankroll is sleeping with the fishes. He's down 91,000. And Jared Huggins is this week's loose cannon. The 29-year-old from Manhattan Beach recently overcame being homeless with the help of the poker community. Now Jared says he wants to help others by donating part of any winnings. Currently, he's down 26 hay with just 33 hands left to turn a profit. And rounding out the table is tournament pro Vanessa Selps. She pulled off a couple big bluffs to lead the table in profit. And now she's with Amanda Leatherman. All right, Vanessa, it seems like you, Antonio, and Perla just can't stay out of each other's way. What is going on? Yeah, well, you know, Antonio is just like playing every hand and just trying to win every pot. So when I get a hand, I'm not going to shy away. You know, I've been a little bit card dead, so I haven't played as many hands as I might otherwise have. But uh, but yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not afraid of him. You know, bring it on. Right. <laughs> well, the loose cannon has one more show left. What does he need to do? Um, well, I mean, it's clear he just needs to game it up now, you know, raise, raise, raise. If, if he can't find himself in some bigger pots, there's no way he's going to win a lot of money. So he's got to make these pots big and then try his best to take them down. All right, good luck, Vanessa. Thanks. Here are the rules for the loose cannon. Each cannon is staked $100,000. He keeps all profits above the initial 100 k And at season's end, the loose cannon who's won the most money earns a North American Poker Tour passport worth 50,000 bucks. And Jared will be chasing the 155 k profit of Gonzalez Cannon for that NAPT passport. I know it sounds crazy, but Jared's only two double ups away from beating that. Yo, are we still on the straddles, right? Yeah. Ship it. That's the way to start things off. Action on Prahlad. I've had another energy shot. I am ready to go. That stuff's oh. good for you. No, it's organic. It's very good for you. By the way, Antonio, thanks for the energy shot. I owe you one, buddy. All right, what's going on here? Pocket force for Jared Huggins. Jared, it's time to turn it on, buddy. Let's get it in there. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Jared, Jared, take it easy. It's my straddle. I don't fold. There you go. There you go. Raises to 2,400. I like it. Uh, the games begin. Teach him a lesson, this Cass. I can't do it. One down, two down. No. Folds to Selbst with 10 8 suited. She's in. Calls. Esfandiari ace five. Antonio might be thinking about a re raise because of Vanessa, but he's also got to consider what hands Jared would be raising in the first place. <sighs> Antonio folds. That hurt. A lot of the hands Jared would be raising would have ace five in bad shape. Heads up to the flop. Three king six, two hearts. Selbst checks. Jared Seabats, he can maybe win this right here. Huggins will bet 4,000. Jared's built a super tight rep all week, but now we're starting to get to a time where rep doesn't matter anymore, and these pros know he's gonna have to be forcing the action with worse and worse hands. Looks like Vanessa's thinking about it. 
A raise here would be super dirty. Nope, folds. Nice answer. Nice. See how easy it is? You raise, you bet, they fold. With less than 30 hands to go, not for much longer. So Jared gets the night started with a nice hand, adding $4,000 to his stack as we take a look at the rules of the big game. Each table lasts exactly 150 hands. The action pre-flop is pot limit, then no limit after the flop. Lines are two and four with a $100 ante, all of which is paid by the player on the button. And every player begins with at least 100,000, but can rebuy for up to 500K. And one change from last year, this season a winning lose cannon does not have the option to return. It's like a good looking Mr. Queen, you know? <laughs> I'll take that. I like that guy. I don't You're know a good looking kid, Jared. You know? Thank you very much. All right, Magician. Apparently, a backhanded compliment also counts as Leisure Domain. Action on Prolod with 6 8 off. Let's it go. On the cannon, Ace Deuce. This is gut check time. Personally, I hate this hand, but Jared needs to start making things happen. Raises to 1200. Cassavetti's out. Greenstein out. Over to Vanessa. Ace 6 suited. Vanessa has him dominated. If she plays from the small blind, I would expect to see a three bet. There it is. Three bets out of the small blind for 4,000. Esfandiari kicks it in, and it's back on Huggins. That was the time. That's just not even fair. This is a fold or four bet situation. If you think you have the best hand, four bet. If you don't fold, how about a call? I was say, you can't win a big pot if you don't play a big pot. Jared, we're all rooting for you. Heads up again to the flop. Seven do six two diamonds. Selfs with the nut flush draw and middle pair. Huggins with bottom. Both pair their kickers. Vanessa's flopped huge. See you at the river. Fires out 6,000. All I have to say is that this would be a terrible time for Jared to realize that pairing your kicker in a three bet pot is usually a pretty good thing. He lays it down. Monster flop. And Vanessa's going to take down the pot. Who's going in that time? That was definitely suited queens and diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. You can tell by the nose stud. <laughs> well, Vanessa Selps has pocketed more than $4.2 million playing tournament poker, but recently took a break to pursue her other passion. I'm Vanessa Selps, and I'm on the big game. I left poker because it was becoming too consuming, and I just think that there are so many facets of my life that I value and that are important to me. And so I took two years off from poker almost completely to go to law school to become a civil rights attorney. I started at Yale Law School in 2008. Uh, completed two years. First of all, within law, there's a lot of work that needs to be done right now, a lot of important issues. You know, I've definitely done work in LGBT rights. Um, it's a hot issue nowadays. Sorry, that's lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender for those that don't know. Um, you know, the marriage debate, but also just, you know, health benefits and it's just a whole host of other issues that are really coming to the forefront right now that need fighting for. It's just really important to me to, you know, fight for the things that you think are, you know, the injustices in the world. I'm hoping that, you know, I can spend some time working on those issues in, in some capacity. It's been really a struggle in the last year to really balance and spend a lot of time working on my game, but also spend a lot of time working on, on law school and going to classes and doing my reading. But it's a struggle right now, but I think, you know, if you put your mind to it and it's important, then you can do it. You know, I think it just takes commitment, but since I really love both things that I'm doing, it's, it's honestly not that hard. If Vanessa ends up being half as good a lawyer as she is a poker player, she's going to have to change her name to Matlock. Matlock? I prefer Allie McBeal, personally. Whatever. Action will start on Jared Huggins, our loose cannon, and he is running out of time. Looks down at King 4 offsuit. He's thinking about it. 25 hands to go. Time to ratchet things up. By calling. And the action will fold around to Vanessa. With King 3, she pitches it. 4-7 for Antonio. In the small blind completes, 3-8 for Prahlad, and checks it. I hate to say, but if you look at the other holdings, Jared could have probably won this with a pre-flop raise, if not played a bigger pot with these guys in bad shape. Flop, 8, queen, king, two hearts, Huggins with top pair, Friedman with bottom. Esfandiari checks, as does Friedman. It's time to start betting for value now. Maybe Jared will get some action since it's getting late and Prahlad flopped a piece. Jared bets 1,200. Fondiari folds. Back on Prahlad. I guess maybe the limp bet is a little more credible that he's got something than Ray's betting. He probably wouldn't bet with nothing, and nothing is pretty much all Prahlad's beating at the moment. And Friedman folds. Nice hand, sir. So Jared will take down a small one, doesn't get any action with his top pair, but still adds another $1,400 to his stack. 
He's got just 24 hands left to leave with a profit. And the pros are giving him an awful lot of credit. Does Jared have what it takes to score a last minute win? Find out when we get back. The action's just getting started on the big game. Welcome back to the big game from Las Vegas, Nevada, as we check in on the loose cannon, Jared Huggins. He's got just 24 hands left to get above 100,000 in order to leave with a profit. Right now, he's down 26K. Time to kick it up a notch. Some big pots in your future? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know, yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta start soon. What do we have, like 24 more I'm, hands? I'm up? playing a lot of more hands. About yeah. 20 something. I've got in a lot of these hands. And no, I know, you gotta get, yeah. I, I'm not sure, you know. Yeah, no, for sure. You're, you're doing fine. I'm just. I think you should just book a small loss because it'll look good. Yeah, well, give me a chance <laughs> to get in the pot, and uh... <laughs> you got all. You got 24 chances. Well, here we go. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Here, uh, I'm. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Action on director Nick Cassavetes with Cowboys Spaghetti Western. Check out Nick Cassavetes this summer as a tattoo artist in The Hangover 2. Greenstein Insta folds selps calls with suited connectors. <laughs> Tell me when to go. Just go when the flop would be good for your cards. Hmm? Go when the yeah. flop would match your cards. That's my advice. Oh, yeah. Awesome advice. Doing okay? Yeah, that hurt. It's a little warm. Folds around to the cannon with pocket queens. Oh, no. Nice knowing you, Jared. Unfortunately for Jared, he's going to want to make this pot as big as possible. Nick Cassavetti is going to say, you'll never work in this town again. Pot. Pot. That's my man. That's my man, Jared. Jared pots it to 5,600. An unfortunate cold deck for the loose cannon because I don't see why the potting would stop now. I bet the pot. There it is, repot. Goodbye, Vanessa. So when I yum, hand. yum. Hold on, how much? 18.8. Selps folds. This could be the end for the loose cannon, even though Nick's probably the one other guy at the table to whom you can give credit for a monster when he four bets. But at this stage, with his stack and only 23 hands to go, Jared could never, ever, 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 ever fold this. It's just a cold deck. Pot. 58-4. Jared's re-raised to 58,400, and Nick is quickly all in. We're all in. All in. And here comes Jared. All in. Jared has called all in, and he is in terrible shape. You got two aces, sir? I have two kings. I don't care. I want to run it with you if you have a if you have a hand that's a severe dog. What do you think? Can I think about this for a couple you minutes? Sure. Look, I'm gonna I'm not gonna. B I got two kings. Okay. Just brutal. Well, you should run sick. it three times. You get a third of the pot back if you want. Ask them. Think about it. Do whatever well, you want. But you're to. saying if I want to run it more than once, I can. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'll let you do whatever you want to do as long as it's not two times. But I never run twice. Not two, right? I never run twice. I've run it four times, six times. I don't care. That's understandable. Um, Antonio, tell him how many times you should run it. I don't mind. I think I know the answer. I mean, I'm thinking once because, I mean, That's right. if I win one out of three, it's just You should hands. definitely not run it three times. You're it's either, either once or twice. Either once or twice. One time, try and get the you whole care, thing. But twice is an option if you think that if you get You don't want to do twice. twice. I'll run it twice with you. I don't care. Whatever you want. Twice, you're going to have to ship it again in the next 20-something hands. You have enough hands to ship it again. So personally, I might do it twice. Run it twice, please. Two times, let's go. Two times is good. All right, let's go. Good luck. Good luck to you, sir. Seriously, good luck. Everyone's rooting for a queen out there at home. We're rooting for a queen. There's millions of people right now saying queen. As long as it's queen. not queen and queen, I'm okay with it. That would be pretty silty. Yeah, sometimes Queenie? it happens. Hey, 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 don't you dare call her. Take it back. I take it back. Right. Come on, queen, one time. You're a gentleman. Either way, it works out. Congratulations. Nick Cassavetes, you don't expect a guy with finger tats to be such a sweetie. So they're going to run it twice with each winner getting half the pot. That's one of my first hand, good hands I've had all day. Me too. Uh, so, and I have to pick it up against you. Jared's been playing super passively all week, waited to get it in with a monster and did it, and now he's just been severely cold decked. So here comes flop number one. What are you going to do? Queen. Eight. King ten. Cassavetes with a set. No, now put a queen now. Put a queen now. Forget the sweetheart Put a queen thing. now. <laughs> put a queen now. Jared's going to need runner runner if he wants to win this half the pot. Turn one, eight of diamonds, and that'll do it. Nice hand. Always good to win the first one. Come on, keep spike it clean. At least now you have a shot you wouldn't have had. 
Jared's got one more shot, and there's only one king left in the deck, which is helpful mm. should Jared actually hit his queen. Spike a queen for this gentleman. Easier to root for a queen now that he's got half the pot locked up. Jared's down to his last shot. Nobody folded a queen? No. I did not fold a queen. Maybe they're going to fold a queen. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are not going to fold a queen. Two queens left in the deck. Jared would really like to see one of them. Flop number two. Four, three, seven, no help to Jared. Not a very good flop for Jared. No backdoor wins. He'll need a queen or runner, runner, chop. Come on, big boy. You're in there still. <laughs> Turn five of diamonds. I want a six. Six, six chops. Six. Six. I want a six. Give him a little bit back. You had a six, too? I had a six. You had a six. Yeah, so we got three sixes. Put a little six up there. Three sixes, two queens. <laughs> a queen will win it for Jared. A six will chop this half the pot. Well, no matter what happens, obviously nothing you can do with that hand. Yeah, totally. You're going to go broke with that hand. I mean, are you kidding? Sure. It's the last round. The hand played itself. It's pretty unlucky. Good luck. Spike a queen. Here comes Jared's last chance. Can't even look. Boom. Four of diamonds, and Jared Huggins is busted. Well, good hand. Good hand. I'm sorry. I no, really am. Nice I am. Hand. You played really well today. Thank you. It's nice playing with you, sir. Yeah, you too. Great to meet you guys. I'm just playing with you. Pleasure. You too. Hey, man. Yeah, pleasure playing here. Nick Cassavetes put the GG in Huggins. I'll be around. All right. All right. The loose cannon, Jared Huggins, waited all week for a hand to put his money in, and unfortunately for him, it couldn't have come at a worse time. Welcome back to the big game. We just saw the loose cannon get knocked out when he ran his pocket queens into the kings of Nick Cassavetes, and now Jared is standing by with Amanda. Okay, Jared, any regrets? None. No regrets. I feel like everything happens for a reason, and it's been a huge blessing for me to be on the show. I feel like I played well. I had practiced and gave everything I had to getting ready for the show. At the end of the day, um, this is a really good experience, and I feel really, uh, really grateful to have the chance to be on the show. Well, everyone had really good things to say about you. All the players loved you. Thank you for being our loose cannon. Well, thank you. Thanks. So the loose cannon's journey comes to an end on hand 127. Nick Cassavetes adds 76,000 to his stack. He went to Jared. He's now just 15,700 below even. And taking Jared's place at the table is big game regular Phil Locke. Not only is he a regular, but Phil Locke crushes the big game. He has a career big game profit of over $375,000, and he's carved out just under half of that for his buy-in tonight. Nice round number, Phil. Thanks for always swimming with the rest of the salmon. How do you feel about the button? Do you want to buy it or do you want to wait two hands? If I wait two hands, how much do I put in? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Starting, the button would be here and I just get him for free? Yeah. But I missed three hands. I'll, I'll miss three hands. Two. Two, it's even better. Okay. Why don't you just straddle from there? Because I hate putting money in the pot. <laughs> Nick Cassavetti, welcome to... This is why I don't get invited to your home game. The guy's up 375 large on the show. He's been sitting in the green room all week. There's 22 hands left, and he's going to sit out for two of them so he doesn't have to post. Hey, are we playing poker? Yes, we are. Action's on Greenstein. Queen deuce. Is the fish in? No, he's not in yet, huh? Folds. Selfs with suited connectors. Raises to 1300 as Fondiari quickly out. On Prahlad. You know, I'm just not going to dance with you the last round, Vanessa. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get stuck. Friedman calls. Is it to me? Hold on. I can't, I can't put my cards in with all these chips. Yeah, yeah. I hate when that happens. All right, I call. Cassavetti's calls with two sevens. Get him, Cass. Let's do it. Phil, it's always a pleasure to see you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> 863 Rainbow. And Cassavetti's checks. He's never admitted that we're friends. He calls me a trusted... Close and trusted business associate. associate yeah. <laughs> but I call him my friend because I love him. You can see why yeah. Phil keeps his distance. Selbs bets 2200 with top pair. Yeah, because you use the term loosely. Correct. I wasn't going to go there, but now that you open the doors, it feels no, right. I, you know? I mean, I, you know, I... He cares for me. <laughs> Love, he I don't know. I've seen moments of caring. That's true. Friedman calls, Cassavetes folds. Pretty tight fold from Nick, but he's right. I make him money, you know, he has to keep me alive. That's, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you do make me money. Turn, queen of hearts. Vanessa still has the best hand. Checks it. And Friedman checks. We'll see a river. Six of clubs trips for Prahlad. Vanessa's likely to think her hand is good, but it's tough to get value in this spot from a worse hand. And she checks it. 
Perlot, on the other hand, probably loves his hand like Antonio loves Phil Locke. <laughs> Looking for some value. Makes it 7,000. Vanessa does have showdown value, just the loser in this case. She calls. And Friedman shows her trips. Ooh, rivered. No worries. Friedman's going to win a pot worth over 22,000 bucks. Did you see how Spirit Rock did that, Phil? He's the best in the business. I look like an overbet on the river, but I couldn't even track it. I don't think so. I don't think I overbet the river. He, said, he thought I overbet the river. I don't know. I underbet it. So Prahlad connects on the river and shows Vanessa the best hand, and that's something he's been doing all week, Joe. That is right, Huff. When Prahlad has been in a hand that's made it to showdown, he's turned over the winner 83% of the time. That mark has helped him vault to the top of the profit leaderboard, just overtaking Vanessa Selfs, who's led all week despite showing the best hand only 33% of the time. She's been relatively card dead and has definitely made the most of it. Can I do? I know I'm supposed to be impartial, Joe, but I think Vanessa Selfs is my new favorite poker player. She's fantastic. Action will start on her. Had a good hand. Jack seven of diamonds. Vanessa maybe steaming a bit after that last hand. Looks like she's getting right back on the horse. Raises to 1300 as Fondiari quickly out. Spirit rockets for Prahlad Friedman. By the way, when I start calling Prahlad parlay in front of you guys, it's because I've been doing it for five years. He parlayed 50 bucks into 50,000 one weekend. And then that 50,000 is now what? Seven, <laughs> I don't know, 40 million 7. or something? 7.2 million or something? <laughs> but I was like, what what's it like to 7.2 million? I would not know. It's got to be more than 7.2. Right, million. it's more than 7.2. Perlot's very likely to be adding to that 7.2 now. Vanessa's starting to look a little defiant. Two of the greatest poker minds. I know, I like watching this right? stuff and I not being in the head. Spirit and Vanessa battles. Antonio may be driving the action a bit with his mouth. Vanessa knows her own reputation, so she knows Prahlad could be three-betting her light, thinking she's raising light, which she is. And if that's the case, she could get into some real trouble here. Four-bet to 13,200 with the jack high. So typically, a Vanessa Selbs four-bet is going to start to get some credibility, which means if Prahlad thinks she's got some kind of hand, he'll easily put in a fifth bet. Another thing to consider, if Prahlad wants to continue to have Vanessa think he's bluffing, he's more likely to raise again than he is to just call. It is five bets to 35,000. Is it 30? 35. All right, well, this looks like a pretty easy fold for Vanessa. But she hasn't dumped her cards yet. Joe, what in the world could she be thinking about here? Well, she might be a little steamy from that last hand still, and is probably leveling herself with thoughts that Prahlad is just messing with her. Now it looks like she wants to see how many chips Prahlad has left. If she levels herself into thinking Prahlad is messing with her, this is going to be a disaster. She should be folding any second now. But she puts in six bets with Jack High. The oh boy. 106.2. is now the bet. This is an absolute punt. Let's count the hang time. Right, I'm all in. Perlot is all in. It is a mistake. I call. Vanessa calls. Okay. Aces for Perlot. No, no, no. He's got aces. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll bet she's got aces. Run it? He has aces. It's like 100%. Of course. She has ace king or kings? Nope, I have nothing. Uh, twice? Whatever you want. Let's do three times? Sure. Nice hand. She has live cards. Oh boy. How much do you have? Uh, one. He's got you covered, 60, I think. 60, one, yeah. 70, So they're going to run it three times. Almost booked a win. Couldn't do it. How many times do you guys say you're running? Three. Three times. Nice hand. I'm going to leave if I don't. I think I speak for Vanessa when I say, <laughs> Even worse, some of Vanessa's outs have been folded, so she's a bigger dog than she thinks. First to three runs coming up. Winner will get a third of the pot. King, four, five. That's not good. She'll need runner, runner. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Don't waste it. Six of diamonds would be, would that be the best card? Six of diamonds would give her straight and flush draws. God. To the turn. Nine of hearts. All right. Put a deuce of clubs. Oh, ace of clubs is good. I think Prahlad knows the time for speeches is over. 
River, 10 of hearts, and Prahlad has locked up a third of the pot worth over 113k. I'm such a Why do I do this to myself? Every time. Not every time. I usually don't do this to myself anymore. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing. I'm just, you know, pretty sure he was laughing. Here comes the second of three runs. Eight king, five, two diamonds, flush drop for Vanessa. It's already a diamond over there. <laughs> there it is. That's the spirit. Show the other diamonds. That you, yeah, how six hard of it diamonds is. would definitely be more useful here than it was in the last one. Vanessa only needs one more diamond. Turn five of hearts. Wow, Prowlad is strong. How did he dodge it there? Missing the flush draw would be devastating. She's not likely to flop this good again. To the river. No diamond, three of clubs. What a brick. Brick ball. Super brick. Bricktastic. So Prahlad is two thirds of the way to scooping the biggest pot ever won on the big game. What an absolute gift from Vanessa. No Jackson sevens. Run number three. Four, six, king, three more bricks. This is getting hard to watch. Not even a sweat. Vanessa's dead to two pair trips or a straight. All of them runner, runner. Or else Prahlad's gonna need a wheelbarrow to bring all his money home. To the turn. Deuce of spades. Nice hand. And Prahlad's gonna win a pot worth over $340,000. Wow, Prahlad did it, that's sick. All right, I'm out of here. Nice playing with you, Vanessa. Nice playing with you. Good playing with you, Vanessa. Uh, why not win one of them? Vanessa's gonna hit the rail, and with that, Prahlad Freeman has the biggest scoop in the history of the big game. Enjoy. <laughs> Good playing with you, Vanessa. Why did I do this? You understand? You have any idea why I did this? Honestly, I don't know why you did that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I you can guess why I did. I understand, it. but there's like he's just he's up. He's playing solid. Like I just didn't think know, he's ever doing that. Right really, there. to 35. 35 is an easy because then I have to put in my entire stack. It's an easy four bet for uh, five bet for him with air. I just didn't think it's that nice. was the spot he's getting out of line. Oh really? I thought he was. I mean. I'm capable of that play. I understand. Yeah. In that I spot, it was I didn't more than think just you capable, were. But I probably overestimated. I just thought like it's just the perfect spot because I literally have to put in my whole stack. No, yeah, it looks strong. 35 is like the perfect amount if I'm bluffing. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Vanessa. Later, Vanessa. I really love the way That's you play. Fun. Anything you ever need in life, you don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Thanks a lot. Okay, take Thank it easy. Thank you. Yeah, Vanessa. Good plan with you. Yep. No words to describe. Oh. Welcome back to Las Vegas, where we've just witnessed one of the most amazing hands in big game history. Prahlad Friedman just scooped a pot of over $340,000 after Vanessa Selbst ran a bluff with Jack-7 into his pocket aces. The Miss Q cost Vanessa her stack, and now she's standing by with Amanda. Vanessa, dramatic ending to your day. I was I feeling know. your pain over here. That's all right. What are you feeling? Oh, it's all right. I mean, I, you know, honestly, I had a... Uh, I used to do that a lot more, uh, sort of punt off stacks, but I really just felt like it was the perfect size for, like, he hadn't been three bidding me, so I thought, you know, he was decently likely it was the button, so it's very likely that he's gonna three bid me light. And then make, when he makes it 35K, it's just the perfect size, because I have to put my entire stack in. So, you know, I've had these reads and, and had uh, my instinct, and this one was like, my instinct was totally off, obviously, but. Eh, it's poker, right? It's poker, it happens. You're Give me didn't win one. How did I not win one of the runs? That's what, crazy. three times, right? Know, just give me one or something. Gosh, the Jesus. loose cannons sometimes win that. Why can't you, right? I know, I am loose cannon, basically. <laughs> I know, if I, if I, I'd still have like 120K if I win one of the runs. Huh? Well, thanks for coming on. You're a great cool. sport. Yeah, thanks. sure. Thanks for having me. Well, Vanessa Selbst has been on top of the profit leaderboard all week, a spot now solidly occupied by Prahlad Friedman. He adds Vanessa's 170 k to his table, leading $250,000 in profit. And taking Vanessa's seat is 25-year-old Randy Liu. The Mountain View native goes by the handle NanoNoco online and has a distinction of being the fastest player in the world, playing up to 24 tables at a time. Randy starts with 100 k and even though he doesn't look like it, Randy is a baller. Randy, I think this session I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a graph like yours. Yeah, you're doing good. It's a good session. That's good. It's good to, always good to hear. That's what, we, that's what all poker players aspire is to be like you. Seriously, man, you're awesome, bro. That's good to hear. Well, you're pretty awesome in different ways. Mm, Looks you, like their graphs are identical on the Who's More Awesome chart. <laughs> Actual start on Nick Cassavetes. King ten. 
It's actually Faults. now 7.2 yeah. and a couple hundred yeah, more. Yeah, 7.5 million, yeah. Barry's out over to Randy. Ace Deuce. It, it's enough to pay the mortgage and... <laughs> mortgage? You don't have a mortgage, kid. You have an extra bedroom where you chip money into from the, like, <laughs> tunnels you built from the bank. Oh, how I want to live in Phil Locke's yeah. world. Esfadiari calls the raise from Lou, and it's on Friedman. Right away, just the graph machine. <laughs> the graph is going up already. If you win this pot, his graph will be like this. It'll already be going up. Gotta start. That's right. And Locke defends with 7-6 offsuit. I play these pots with the geniuses only to see if I can flop the nuts. Otherwise, I just see what the geniuses do. <laughs> oh, okay. Flop 6-6 six, six, ace. I check. Locke checks his trips. Keep up the crazy routine, Phil. Don't let him read your face. 22. 22. Oh. See, he knows. He knows. What to bet at all times, what, what flops. Lou bets 2,200. Esfandiari calls. Antonio with a very loose float. He must really like Phil Locke. I'm playing, boys. Phil calls. All the email alerts are sent out. They're like, headquarters, what does he have? He's in the hands. <laughs> you know? Turns an eight. Check. Check. Checks to Antonio. Antonio's open-ended now, but remember, Phil Locke was the guy who sat out two hands so he wouldn't have to post. Now he's overcalling the flop out of position. We'll see a river. Eight of hearts, full boat for Locke. I'm gonna bet. Okay. And? 12,000. 12, Bet's 12,000 bucks. Phil Locke, overbet alert. Jettison all hands. Lou folds. Even though Antonio is playing the board, there's a chance Phil Locke could do this with nothing and try to bluff him off a chop. Antonio folds. Correct. When the squeezer bets 12 dimes, you got to let it bluff. go. Show a bluff. You got to let it go. If Kids. that wasn't a bluff, that was that was the worst bet ever. I don't know. He can't show one. Both sixes. I have quad sixes. If you're not sixes. bluffing there, that was the worst bet I've ever For sure seen. he's got a six in his hand. <laughs> right, Barry? Doesn't that look like the worst bet in the world? I thought Antonio could have king eight of diamonds. You have to be bluffing there. Yeah. And then I, guess what? Get paid. <laughs> By the way, I mean, you played know, millions of hands. How many hands? Parlay. Check this out. Last night, played at least like four million. Uh, 12. Lou raises to 1,200 with Jack seven as Fondiari out. Where is this? Pocket well, fives, you presto you for Prahlad. It was like sick. They were talking about what they could be doing Calls. and all, like just random stream of consciousness. I was like, oh my God. Lock folds. Barreling the whole way. Cassavetes folds over to Greenstein, who calls with King Eight suited. Well, he already knows what to do. <laughs> so he, and it's like. Three players to the flop. Four, four, three, two spades. Barry checks. 25. And Lou chucks in 2,500. He doesn't even think. It's just boom. I no, did no. think. You just, it was just no. very fast. So very fast. But you got 19 other games <laughs> blinking at you. You got it. One thing you should know about Randy Lou, he never stops betting. Pilates hit a pretty good flop for two fives. And calls. Barry's out. So we'll go heads up to the turn. Lou's doing that weird fake yawn tell again. Four of clubs on the turn. Prahlad now with a boat. More like a dinghy. <laughs> 12. Told you, never stops betting. Lou bets 12,000. You're a beast. Prahlad folds the winner face <laughs> up. The nuts. And Lou shows the bluff. You just bet? Wow. What am I, I doing? Show. He's the best. He's, He's the best. Because what, what does he put me on? This guy's too good for me, man. I got to get out of this game. Put you on a draw, and he's going to bet the turn because he's a sicko. <laughs> I, I, was, I was stuck. So you got position, you have him covered. That was just not parlay. That was a big lay down. That's what it was. I want to show you. I want to show you goes online because you can't see my cards, so you're going to see it later. Oh, boy. Randy does that. He talks and shows. He does he all the bets, like, like 12. Yeah. He didn't even think. 12. It's too good, man. That's why his graph goes up. People fold when they have them, they call when they don't. Yep, that's what, yep. It's like this. What am I doing? Winning a lot. More big game coming up right after this. Welcome back to the big game. And don't forget to log on to the website and check out exclusive behind the scenes footage, bonus hands and stats, as well as clips we've deemed too hot for TV. Action will start on Prahlad Friedman. Spirit Rock folds. He can't spell lock without AK. Raises to 800. There's an A and an L in there too, Scott. Cassavetti's calls. Greenstein's out. Randy, get rid of that Jack 7 from the four hole. Seat's not even cold from Vanessa yet. 
Two of the greatest, huh? The now two the greatest. Now the BS comes from the other end, you know? The greatest director and the greatest fish. To the flop, Jack King, King, two diamonds. Uh-oh, trips for both Locke and Cassavetes. Super cold deck for Cassavetes. Things could get ugly. Locke bets 1,500. Cassavetes quickly calls. Get him, Cass. Punish the Unabomber. Both think they're trapping. Turn, three of clubs. Things continue to look ugly for Nick. But it goes check, check. Both still slow playing. River Deuce. 7,400. Hi, Cole. And Cassavetes just calls. Actually pretty well played on the river by Nick. He saved himself some money. Raising there will likely only get action if you're beat. Good hand, sir. Well, that pot could have been a whole lot bigger, but Locke still adds $11,000 to his stack. And the big game has been good to the Unabomber. Coming into this week, he trailed only Justin Bonomo and Barry Greenstein for king of the big game mountain. But with his quick profit tonight and Barry's tough week, Locke moves into the number two spot. He's still got a ways to go to catch Bonomo, but the way this guy's running, anything is possible. How good does Phil Locke run, huh? How bad does Phil Locke play? I think he plays pretty well. You really mean that? I almost want to bet you 10K you can't pass a ladder detection test. <laughs> <Love> you, <laughs> saying that you believe he plays really well. Antonio's my PR guy for me getting paid off in these games and stuff, you know? I slip him a little. I haven't had a three of a kind in 130 hands. You just come right in and... Hockey sticks for lock. No problem. Min raises. I mean, that's your image. You don't even, like the guy crying calls with three kings, you know? Wee. Cassavetes calls. Ryan calls three kings, yeah. There's no raise there, sir. Just, yeah, just check, call. What's Barry up to over there? Looks like he smells some dead money. Oh, this is so tilting. I don't want this game to quit. Let's bring it up to my room, guys. I'll get pay-per-view. Greenstein re-raises to 3,500 with 9-6 suited. Ace-9 suited for Lou. Folds. Spondiari's out. Friedman with five deuce. Let's it go. Back on lock. Go. Makes the call. Nick's getting decent immediate and implied odds to call. 35, is that what you have? And he does call. Barry's going to play this hand in position, and he's got a decent chance of running down these guys. Three-way action to the flop. Five, six, seven, two diamonds lock with top set. Huff, look at your boy Johnny Rungood over here. <laughs> he checks it. Cassavetti checks his straight draw. Both check to the razor. And Barry bets 5,000 with his pair and gut shot. Barry, it looks like a phenomena. That's all you have? Sorry. Short stack Barry doing it to the people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, every time I see you on TV. You let him call you short stack Barry, Barry? He's got like 28,000. He's hurt doing the short stack torture on everyone. <laughs> and you have like a little fortune, 100, 200. A little over 100. With this wet board, Locke's trying to figure out how to get as much money in right now as possible. There are plenty of worse hands that will call and plenty of turn cards that he'll hate. Locke raises to 17-2. Nick does not want to hit his eight. I fold. And he folds. Back on Greenstein. Moves all in for 34,000. Come on, Barry, one time. And Locke insta calls. Whee! Handshake. Kind of a crazy move against a tightish player like Phil Locke. Well, oh, I sure would have liked that. Hey, how about this, Barry? We do it three times, but only the one first time, and last Barry, time one count. One time, punish the Unabomber. Okay, how about this, Barry? We run it two times, but only the second time counts. Because the first one I don't feel good about. Come on. Oh, two I like times. that. The second two one times, counts. the second one counts. <laughs> Come on, you know as a math guy, it's the same thing. One time, just the first one, that's the one that Eight. has to Where'd count. You fold? Eight of hearts. The Two first fours. one's going to be a loss. I can feel the How do you just come in and make hands like this? This is why he wins. I'm sitting here for you're 10 talking, hours. Hands, this guy's not good. And then I get involved Three with the guy who Top watch. set. I mean, it's unreal. It's just yeah, unreal. Except now I'm against an opponent who runs it once. And then he raises it 75,000. There you go. Let's put an eight of hearts out there. Eight of hearts. For now, Barry's only outs are eights. He can also go runner, runner. Four spades. Oh. Oh boy. Cassavetes would have made a set. Set over set. That's so Eight sick. Oh, wow. Lucky Nick folded. Yeah, but that freezes up the action for both of us anyways. Look at the three ball. You just put an eight of clubs out there. Though. Three ball? Barry picks up no additional outs for a win, but a three will chop it now. To the river. Five of spades, and Barry has gone broke. Wow. Wow. Now you and I would have had action. With the oh, five we, we would have gotten no. We would have gotten you all. Got all. Yeah, we would have the whole thing. All you have to do is not no, raise like the monkey. Calls. Bet call. Well, I said, I just, what am I supposed to do? LOL, Cashman's. I enjoy playing with you, sir. Good luck, you guys. Right. I could have won more, huh, if I flat. Nick, we should first come on. 
Barry, sorry about that. Can I turn him over? Nice yeah. play with you, Barry. Good play with you, Barry. Yeah, so Barry's short stack struggle finally comes to an end as Phil Locke continues his big game domination. It, it's really just something uh, unbelievable. For 10 years, it hasn't changed. And every time he sits down, I think maybe today won't be the day. And then he just makes it. I told you he's good. He's just, he's got sent. 0.4 mil ball. I'm there. If I can just hold on to it. That's today or? No, lifetime on this show. I just crossed over. More big game coming up right after this. Welcome back to the big game from Las Vegas. How much yeah. you have, Phil, today? 100? I'll count it in a second. After this hand, I'll count it. It's OK, Phil. I don't care that much. I know you're dying to count it anyway. <laughs> well, yeah. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. <laughs> Ace 10 for Locke. Calls. Look, his style's a bit of a mystery yeah. to me, too. It works, though. Queens for Cassavetes. Raises to 2,000. Nanonoko out as Fondiari folds. Pralad Friedman, King 8. Mux. I assume Locke limps so he could play a smaller pot if he had a call a raise. And he calls. Locke cold decked the pants off Nick Cassavetes earlier tonight. Heads up to the flop. Jack 5, King Rainbow. Cassavetes still good. Locke checks. And Cassavetes checks. Not a great flop for two queens. Turn six of clubs. Locke still with just a gut shot. Bets 3,300. Cassavetes quickly calls. Cassavetes seems to have a decent grasp of Locke's style. River. Queen of Diamonds, that's an action card. Locke has hit the nuts straight, and Cassavetes has a set. Oh, yeah, by the way, Locke's style is to have the joint every single hand. 24,200. <laughs> Bets out 24 2. Locke's up to his overbetting ways again. I call. Cassavetes calls. And Nick Cassavetes runs worse than the car in the driveway of every horror movie. I mean, <laughs> how good can one fish run? Huh? Is that sick or what? So Phil Locke does it again to Nick Cassavetti, stifling the director's comeback efforts on our last hand of the week. And after playing just 21 hands, the Unabomber shows a profit of 96,200 for an incredible win rate of 12 big blinds per hand. But the big winner for the week is the vegan rapper Spirit Rock, Prahlad Friedman. He closes out the session up 262,500. Nick Cassavetti's hung in all week, but ended down over 73K. And tonight was a revolving door as Barry, Vanessa, and the loose cannon Jared Huggins all lost 100K apiece. Wow, crazy into the week, guys, huh? Chips flying everywhere, Prawad. Up $260,000. Um, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Phil, you luck box. You came in for 20 <laughs> Even the commentator so calls you a luck box. <laughs> right? Even the hostess calls you a luck box. All right, guys. They just know you're a luck box. That's it for this week. I'm Amanda Leatherman saying goodbye for now. And remember, if you've got the cash and the guts, there's always a seat open at the big game. Good night, everybody. This week, there were some firsts on the big game. We saw the biggest pot ever scooped, and then more of the same. Bill Locke crushing. For Joe Stapleton, this is Scott Huff saying so long from Vegas. One of the hardest things for me about not winning the money is that I wanted to do a lot of things with charity. So probably what I'm gonna wanna do is maybe volunteer or get involved with some charitable things and just make a difference that way. That's the hardest thing, but I'll find a way to, to do positive things regardless. Guy is my man right here, the protector. Bob Don't mess with me, because he's just gonna be like, ah! <laughs> Martial artist, fifth degree black belt, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's ready. These chips are protected. The preceding program was sponsored by PokerStars.net.